In this video, we're going to be starting up, well, setting up our online beacons. Now, the reason behind the beacons are to make a very lightweight connection to our host. So that's useful for things such as our, well, our lobby. So the idea behind it is, well, there's going to be kind of a little bit more than one purpose for our beacons. So we're going to be using them to ping servers as one way. So what we do is we make a very lightweight connection. We make just kind of like that initial connection, so to speak. And we are able to try and, um, oh, what do you call it? We can ping the server. So we'll send a request to the server. Server sends one back and kind of like the time frame that it takes for us to one, send a message and receive message back is going to be kind of how we calculate the ping and we can display that in our server browser. So if it takes, you know, a long time, it's obviously going to be a high ping and we probably wouldn't want to connect to that server. The other thing we're going to use it for is our lobby. So when we join a server, we want our lobby to, our host to be able to have a way to send us information of what's being changed or what the current lobby settings are. So if we're in the lobby and the host changes the map, we want to be able to see that change. So what we would do is with beacons, we can actually create, well, we can actually send RPCs like we would a normal actor. So I have my little cheat sheet here. We can go ahead and get started. We need three classes, a main menu, a online beacon client, and a online beacon host object. So I'm gonna create the main menu. So I'm gonna to go to Nazis or C++ classes, project, public, Nazi zombie. And I'm gonna create a new section in here. Well, I'm gonna create the class first. So game mode base, make the new section. I'm gonna call it main menu. And I'm gonna give it the name. I'm gonna call it Nazi zombie main menu game mode and create the class. Give it a second. I got to reload. And here we have it. Now the compile is going to fail here because of the include, but that's just fine. We'll fix that here in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and create the other two classes and do it at once. Eventually, there we go. Okay, let's create the next class. So we're going to search for beacons. So we're going to create a online beacon host object. Call this one. And it froze. Come on. There we go. So let's call this one Nazi zombie beacon. Let's call this one world at war beacon host object. Okay. Let's see. We can actually clean this up. Let's just call it Nazi zombie beacon host object. The reason I was thinking about the name is if I end up going with a multiplayer section, like a multiplayer part of this, the game, like, you know, game deathmatch and that kind of stuff, I think about just probably using the same beacon setup, just making the functions while well, overriding the functions so we could have a little bit of a different setup. But it's not really a big deal. But we're going to go ahead and create that class. And we're going to create the last class, which is the A Online Beacon Client. And did I just create that in the wrong section? I think I did. I did. I meant to put that in main menu, so way we can fix that. Delete and delete out of the source folder. I go ahead and just get rid of them there. And remake the class because I was not paying attention when I built it. So I want to be in the main menu section and then like I said the last class that we need to create is our beacon host I mean our beacon client sorry okay. so 
search for beacon, do online beacon client. Add its main menu, do Nazi zombie beacon client, and create the class. This is going to be the last class that we have to create for now. And once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and close the editor, fix the includes, and restart it. If you are on the launcher version of this, if you are using the launcher version, you don't need to really restart the editor. Hot really should take care of it, but for some reason, I'm just having some issues. So here's our game mode.cpp that we just created. I will change the path up for the include, so it's going to be a project name. So world at war public Nazi zombie main menu and Nazi zombie well, the remaining part of the class. I want to do this for the host object. Just paste it in before the actual class and our client, like so. I want to load up the headers. And create constructors. So starting with the game mode, just create a normal constructor. The beacon host. And the beacon client. Just like so. We should be good, so I want to go ahead and compile and then relaunch the editor. Come on. We're good to go. We launch the editor. And we should see our classes. There we go. And we have our three classes. Now we can go ahead and continue. So I want to close the beacons down as we just need the game mode for now. And we can discuss how we're going to do this. I'm actually going to leave it here and set up the functionality in the next video. Just keep these short because I think I'm pushing probably 10 minutes by now. So we've created three classes, our game mode, our host object, or well, beacon host object, and our beacon client. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our host object when we press host game. When we press host game, so I hit host game, that beacon gets created. And it sets everything up for us in the game mode. So we're going to create a custom blueprint call up a function to do that. And from there, we're going to set it up so it'll allow, well, it'll be allowed so we can receive connections, if that makes sense. So other people can, you know, one, they can ping us to see what the ping is, and two, they can connect to our lobby and all that kind of information. So we are good to go. We have our classes created. Now the next one will just be setting up our host object. So I'll see you then.